In this video, we'll look at wall sections, what they are, and how to draw them. A section is a slice through a building. So, when I move this section plane cut, I get different section views depending on the location of the cut. What I've drawn here is a transverse section because it is perpendicular to the roof ridge. However, what I'm more interested in is what a section through a wall would look like. For example, if I were to cut here, This would be a wall section, if I just showed that. Looking at this picture, a wall section would be a 2D drawing representing any of these walls. This is a 3D, the wall section is 2D. It would show the footing, this drain pipe, the foundation wall, the sill, the header joist, sill plate, stud, sub wall and the finished wall, rafters, sub roof, and the finished roof. Let's take a look at this. Here we have a 3D drawing of a partial wall, and then we have its wall section. This is the footing. This is rebar. This is the foundation wall. Plate. Header joist. Floor joist. Plate. Header joist. Floor joist. Sub wall building paper, lap siding, there's the sub wall, the lap siding, plate, stud, and then the gypsum board on the interior side, plate, stud, and the gypsum board on the interior side. This is a break line showing that the wall continues up. We just didn't need to draw it all. Same here. So let's sketch a wall section out together. So here we have a 3D of a partial wall drawing. Footing, foundation wall, sill plate, header joist, subfloor, finish floor, sill plate, stud. What would that look like as a 2D wall section? I'm just going to sketch this out for brevity. I'll use a divider so that I get proportionate sizes. This isn't to scale, but it is proportionately accurate. I'm going to eyeball some of these sizes. There's the plate. There's the header joist. The subfloor sits on top of it. Here's another plate. The stud goes on top of that, and here's the finished floor.
and then you'd have some rebar, which isn't shown here, and rebar there. And the ground would be about there, and you'd put in the earth symbol, drawing one over one. Let's call it section at foundation wall. And if you drew it to scale, the scale should be at least a quarter of an inch equals a foot. And there you have it.